Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of place value and how we can use place value to order numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have on the screen four scores of students that were playing a game. And what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to try to figure out our uh, order of first place, second place, and third place so we can give them trophies if we wanted to and so we have marissa with 247 points angel with 896 points junior with 290 and then jose with 782. so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to line these up into a hundreds tens and ones chart so i'm going to go ahead and just write that over here because when we are ordering numbers we want to compare their largest place values against each other. So we always start with the largest place value. It looks like all four of these numbers go to the hundreds place. So that's really where we're going to start our work and where we are going to be able to make most of our decisions. And so when we're looking at our first place, well, in most games, whoever scores the most points gets first place. So this is what we are going to call greatest to least. That means we are looking to order our numbers from the largest numbers to the smallest numbers. Greatest meaning the most, least meaning the smallest. So looking at the hundreds place here, we have a 2, an 8, a 2, and a 7. And once we get one of these numbers that jumps out as the biggest, it doesn't really matter what the rest of the numbers are. And as you can see, this 8 is going to be our biggest number. It doesn't matter if the numbers behind it are zeros or nines. 800 is always going to be larger than 700 or 200. So I'm going to put a line through there. We need to match up 896, that's angel. So I'm gonna write angel right here. Angel is in first place. Now second place is our next largest number. We've already crossed out this 896. I've got 200, 200, and 700, and it's going to be this 700, and that is Jose. So let's mark this out. Our third place is a little bit tricky because look, we've got 200s, 247, 290, so two of them. And so if both of these are the same, we're going to circle both of these. Now we need to move to the next place value to the right. So now we're going to look at the tens place and I've got a four and a nine and nine is larger than the four so it is going to be junior junior gets third place and unfortunately Marissa did not get on the podium did not get a medal first place second place or third place let's look at another example now we simply have five numbers on the screen 1007 298 347 486 374. So I want to put these in opposite order of what we just did. I want to go from least, that means our smallest, to our greatest. So once again, let's go ahead and take a look at our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. And if you draw hundreds, tens, and ones chart, you're going to notice that we need to add a new column. This very first one is going to go past that. So I'm just going to write a TH. That's going to stand for thousands. I'm going to need that fourth column because this one is in the thousands place. So I'm going to need that. We're not going to put the comma in there because we don't want to unfortunately uh, mistake the comma for a one. Sometimes a sloppy comma looks like a one. So let's just not put the comma there. So we've got 486 and then we've got 374. Well, you can automatically tell that this 1007 is going to be my largest number because all of these other numbers, if I needed to put something there, that's going to have a zero there. So let's not look at that. We're looking for least to greatest. Let's look at our smallest number. And so let's look at our hundreds place. We know this is going to be last. And so I've got 298. So that's going to be first. And then I've got a 300 and a 300. So when I'm tied with those two 300s, I need to go to the tens place. My four is going to be less than my seven, so I can say 347, and I can say 374. Next is 486, and then I am stuck with my 1007.